Right guys, um, we're back. Uh, I believe this is episode 7. Um, at the time of this recording, or at least towards the end, I believe episode 6 will be up. And, and then we just move it across um, in daylight stages, as you've probably seen by the dates being raced. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got some stuff to look at. We've got these items here. Plus you can probably see something on the top. Then we've got all the unboxed stuff to do, go through. Plus the boxes, which haven't got any um, items in yet. Um, so if we got time, we've got plenty of stuff to cover. So no, uh, no worries in getting everything. We'll get to it in another episode. But yeah, welcome to episode seven, and uh, let's get started. Okay guys, um, today we're going to be looking at um, some stock that's in boxes, some stock that's out of boxes, including this one we have here. Um, we're also going to be looking at stuff which isn't isn't ours per se, but it's on our layout, so we need to put them in boxes safely to respect the owners. Um, but yeah, we've got a couple of boxes around the back as well where we can put stuff. Um, but our first candidate is in front of us. It's the Santa Fe uh, Railway Post Office. I've already taken some notes from it because a, an earlier edit of this video was in higher quality and Lummox here didn't research what the impacts of higher quality are on our phones and it seems that higher quality uh, is limited to 5 or 10 minutes respectively depending on the uh, quality side. So top setting is 5 minutes, setting below that is 10 but the setting below that apparently doesn't have a limit. So yeah. Something to think about in future, maybe do a wish list for an Ultra HD, HD camera. Um, they are really expensive though, so we'll see how that goes. I mean, the phones are catching up real quick, so I'm guessing this video is probably going to be better quality anyway compared to the others. So we'll, we'll just keep an eye out on that on that for us. Um, we'll, we'll double check it on our big 42 inch television if we've got time, as well as some of the other items in our plans. But yeah, so that's the RPR. We've already got a picture of this. Um, so just to quickly recap, it's unboxed. So our plans for our unboxed items moving forward, especially the ones outside of vendor boxes like we saw in one of the earlier episodes, is to probably wrap them in bubble wrap and or wrap them in kitchen towels, um, paper towels, So and then just number them and give them the identifiers on the paper towel itself so we know what's what. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. Um, probably won't do it on the videos because that's valuable time lost. I'm sure you'd rather us focus on items to inventory more as opposed to wasting time wrapping things up which don't have a box. There are a couple of those sitting around, so yeah. But there we are, that's the first item. <laughs> Let her move her away into the classified slots. I will put her at the back, put them on the back track just to call it here. There we go. Anyway, so we should probably jump onto something that does have a box, so I'm going to be cheeky here. Make sure the track's aligned, yet. Yeah. Everything's good, everything's good, not that one, this one. Can it fit? Yes, just about. Look at that, so let me zoom in. Perfect. So, according to the box for this, this is a Chicago Northwestern 664 sleeper. So I'm guessing six on one side, six on the other, and then there's just a, 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 a block of four somewhere on the other side. But we'll see. We can, we can research that when we get it. But just, just to uh, fill you in on the details there. So we just generally got this because, like I said, it's, it looks pretty. And where do you know? My father does Chicago Northwestern. I'm a big fan of Chicago. What's not to like about it? You know what I mean? So let's remove the box quickly and take a picture again of the car on its own. Perfect. She's a superstar, folks. She's a superstar. So, detaching the other two cars for a moment. 
I believe those two behind it have boxes, whereas the one attached in front does not. So, move her away for a second. Just focus up quickly. There you go. So, this is unnumbered. From what I can tether. Yeah, the light you're seeing there on the left is from the extension cord we've got over here, so it's not lighted. Just to clear that up for you. Although it could be, what are these? Are these LEDs or are these, are these mirrors? They're probably just mirrors, right? Yeah, interesting. So, according to the box, this is 932 6723. So it is called Pullman Standard 6 6 4 sleeper. Our inventory will just identify it as a sleeper. CNW, and note this, late scheme. So there are schemes for CNW as well. Didn't realize that because they are only just getting into the um, awareness of some of the schemes anyway. So for this model, looks like we've got some KD couplers. So let's say sprung knuckles. Other side, same. Cool. Sprung knuckles. I see some interior and painted yeah I'm painted I think that is fairly decent detailing outside but maybe some grab iron oh there's a grab iron there there's grab irons yeah okay let's look at the wheel sets wheel sets are metal or plastic trucks by the way plastic trucks trucks metal wheels Good exterior. Yeah, that's that one. You may also, so if you've an owner one of these as well, we can show you. You see that? Those look like power pickups to me. Because on there you've got a metal plate above that. Um, so you have the capacity to be lighted in some degree. So that's something we'll look into later on, especially when we're doing the maintenance schedule. But yeah, a good little model these. These are. It's uh, Walford's Race to Run again as well. Let me just write that. Walford's Ready to Run. Right, let's get around the box. We'll get the box out there. And I believe we have some decals, yes we do. Oh yeah, we should probably put it's unnumbered again. But yeah. Decals. See those? Yep. Have a look at what the sleepers look like in the end of the day, towards the late stage. So at least we catch a best of both worlds here. Right. Uh, time for sleep, my friend. You've also been hanging out outside the world. And having your own fun. Ooh, maybe upside down, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe. Maybe it was the website. No, no, that, that makes sense. That does make sense. And then the box is aligned. Yes, it's aligned. It's perfect. We wouldn't have died. Again, it's still a bit cramped up here, so I won't be showing sure stuffing in the boxes. Just already, well, that's two down. Uh, shall we do another unboxed? Let's go for this one. So, this is late stage Vista Dome. So, we've already had at least one or two. Um, um, Vista Domes for that day. This is something else. Even my father hadn't really heard of it, so I'm guessing he looked it up, but even then I'll look it up as well. This is numbered. If you can see that, that's a 3015, but I'm going to take it off the tracks. Yeah, someone has put decals on them. Yeah. So, good thing about these. Do you see those trucks? Those trucks 
are metal and they are sprung, I think. Yep, they're sprung. If you can see that. It's and the undercarriage is wooded. So these details down here are just blocks of wood. But you've got interior up here. Looks like they've greyed out the interior up here to uh, stifle any suspicion. Exterior detail is decent. And these are sprung couplers, yeah. So it's fairly decent model in retrospect. 3015. 3015. Is that button letters? Hold on, I didn't. And letters. For the previous one. This one is letters. Okay, 3015. Um, SF Central. Big stead arm. Let's call it Weekster Club in brackets, Vista Club. Unboxed. We don't know the maker. So if we look at the bottom, look. there is nothing denoting any maker. So Central Valley. That may be it. Central Valley possibly. So Focus. Yeah, Central Valley. Um, as for power, not sure there. Either way, very, uh, very nice designs, I'd say. It's just, yeah, wooden. Uh, not quite enough battle time. Okay. Yeah, let's put this on the rear track and record the rest of the details. <clears throat> Sprung nut couples, sprung knuckles, metal wheels, sprung trucks, good exterior, interior, half. Oh, can we take a picture? Uh, let's take a picture, just in case. Uh, which one has the grab irons? They both have the grab irons, so we're not too fast. Sorry about that. And that was some memory. Focus again. Click, just in case we didn't take a picture. And then put this on the rear track. I thought it might be Central Valley. Okay. Central. But we got it on the um, the camera, didn't we? So that's fine. So, what next, folks? We don't want out of the box. Are we doing one in the box, shall we? Let's do a. Have we got a new arrival? We've got a new arrival? Yep. New arrival. Perfect week. Pope would car. So, before I take a picture of the box, just probably add some stuff there. But first, let's get it out of the box. So, this came today, literally today. So, that's Saturday, not the uh, Sunday where this is presented. Already, I'm seeing a decent model here. Plastic wheels, plastic trucks, but sprung knuckles. Detailing is decent. Southern Pacific, and it's got numbers, so yeah, we'll put that on the box. Here we go. Here we go, little man. The focus properly. There we go. Let's zoom in as well. There you go. So, it's a Popwood car. Number is S23507.
go. That's that there. And let's just record that. So, number 23507 SP Polkwood. Sprung knuckles. Decent detail. No loads. We can put loads on later. Um, plastic wheels and trucks. Anything else? Anything else? Not really. It's good. It's a good little matter of that for what it was, for what he what, what he wanted it for. Very decent. Decent, decent, uh, decent sale there. Okay, cool. Let's wipe that. Let's put her away. You can't. Hopefully, as far as more I ever went back like this. Yes, it did. And that protects the couplers. Of course, it does. Did we get a picture of it? Let's do it just for uh, just for sanity's sake. I'm going mad with these videos, I tell you. Picture. Done. We definitely had a picture there. Okay, stuff it back in the box. Because we're focusing on the movie, and we're focusing on the, um, the time, and we're focusing on what to say here. We don't register that we've actually taken the picture. So let's take a picture of the box. friends, the box friends. Okay, I think we have time for one more. Um, no comments per se to register or fight through, so I think it'll be up to me here. And I'm going to choose... <laughs> Neil is going to choose one of the super lines. So over here we've got Two superliner cars. One of them is just a coach. One of them is a coach baggage. We've done some kind of baggage. I don't think we've done coach. If you can count the um, the daylight, the daylight. Uh, sorry, the daylight chair car. So I'm going to choose the coach. So this is on the other side of this. So I might even be cheeky and do both. But for now. In fact, let's do it this way. Let's move these boxes back. Sorry, folks. They're fine. That's, that's the coach baggage. And this is the coach. They're unboxed as far as I'm aware. So, can we zoom in? Can we afford to zoom in? Yes, we can. And then refocus. That's it. So that's our coach. With our coach friends, let's assume that they are un unnumbered. I don't see any numbers on this side, so let's say unboxed. And then we'll give the number on UB001 dash. To me, that looks like a Wolfers, to be honest, in, in the case. So. Bear with me. But we don't know the full make yet, so let me note down the, the key specifics here. So the couplers look like easy mates, but we'll get a better shot of those in a minute. The wheels look metal, the trucks look plastic, or well, those could both be plastic. I'll take a close look. And yeah, the windows have been greyed out. So it looks like there's no interior detail. So, Amtrak. Super. I know. That could be phase two, possibly, from memory. Phase, question mark. But we do know it's a coach. So, detail, exterior, Okay. Right. 
Oh yeah, interior. None. Blacked out. So let's bring these forward a bit. Coach. Yeah, the uh, the, the doorway window is blacked out. Uh, these couplers looks like they had a spring once upon a time, but they are long gone. So we will put, let's call them easy mates. Yeah, this one on this side looks like an easy mate. And these wheels, yeah, I think they're metal. Okay. Put it on the back track. So our first point of action would be to replace the couplings because one of them at least is broken. Or at least it can't handle much. But we'll do our, our test proof. In fact, let me see the theatrical here. You'll see that towards the end of the video, what I'm talking about. But for now, just to, just bear with me guys. Oh, it's broken, never mind. Oh, the dreams of men being broken by silly little things, I tell you. If we had maintained this before we'd taken the Venturi, it would have been a <laughs> spectacle. So, easy knuckles. Um, plastic. Trucks. Metal. Wheels. And then it's probably as above for this one. So bring this across. This is our coach baggage. Actually, that could be phase three, potentially. So we'll call this one UB002. And say Amtrak. Call it high level or bi level? So maybe a high level. Coach, baggage, as above, and just to be sure, see those are sprung, well with the exception of one, so on one side is sprung, on the other it is uh, easy, and metal wheels I believe, yes, metal wheels, and then, here we go, Right at the bottom. Can you see that? Move it out a bit. Resume. Move it out a bit further. Resume. Walther's. So where's the Walther's piece? That's completely fine. I will leave the uh, classification of the knuckles because we're still going to need to possibly action the easy knuckle because if we want a fairly decent train even a passenger train we need to pull its friends without issue and we can't do that with that type of spring but okay I think we should leave it there probably a good 25 minutes out of this it's been a as always, it's been good. Um, your viewership and your comments have been really appreciated. Um, likes, subscribe, everything like that, always appreciated as well. Main thing for me at the, miss at the minute is just carry on with this. And we'll hopefully have an update video, if not today or tomorrow. So in your perspective, Sunday or Monday. We'll see. We're not going to force it if we're not feeling too great, for example. But we will if we're for up for it. So, uh, hopefully, we'll give you guys a treat. But, as always, thank you very much. That's episode 7 of the way. Take care, guys. Have a great evening. Have a great weekend. And Kiki for loading.